In the previous video, I tried to convince you that the total momentum and energy increased after the collision, thereby violating two sacred conservation laws in physics. Of course, everyone knows that cannot be true. So where did the extra momentum come from? Actually, if you look closely, after the collision, the other four balls also acquired a rightward momentum. Remember that momentum is a vector quantity. When we include the momentum of the recoiling balls in the opposite direction, we realize that the total momentum didn't increase after the collision. The principle of conservation of momentum is intact. Next, what about the extra energy? Well, because a magnetic field is involved here, we must take into account changes in magnetic potential energy. The magnetic potential is usually taken to be zero at a point at infinity. When the balls are far apart, they are at the highest possible magnetic potential, or zero. When the balls are close together, they should be at a lower magnetic potential, or negative potential. The closer the balls, the more negative the potential. Anybody who reloaded the magnetic cannon will realize that a lot of work must first be put in to raise the magnetic potential energy. As the magnetic boss approaches, there's a sharp drop in magnetic potential energy. The increase in kinetic energy came at the expense of the decrease in magnetic potential energy. There is actually no change in the total energy after the collision. The principle of conservation of energy is intact. I guess we're not going to win the next Nobel Prize. Nope, not this time.